That's right, Preston. We all remember it. The month got started when Sound Transit started service to four new stations, meaning a lot more passengers passing through these platforms, likely with safety and security on many of their minds. Among the findings in this newly released Sound Transit security report, in 2024, there's been a 50% spike in cases of reported passenger assaults and also an 80% rise in the number of reported attacks on transit workers. They need to do much more and not let those people even get on. The numbers did not come as a surprise to passengers like Todd Keeling. He says he recently watched as a belligerently drunk man boarded the train right in front of security officers. There were security guards standing over here just walking around, whatever, looking at their freaking phones. They should be not letting that dude get on the train. Regarding the findings of this report, Sound Transit says it's actually a case of better crime reporting thanks to added security. As Como told you last summer, hundreds of additional security officers started patrolling these stations. And a year later, Sound Transit says it's led to better monitoring and reporting of incidents than in the past. By the end of the year, we really want to have a much better sense of the true data and that reflects what happens on the train, at the station itself, and at the entrance to the station. As detailed in these pages, reported assault started to spike in the summer of 2023, which is when so many security guards were added to the overall system. And also in that report, Sound Transit says they saw an increase of crime reporting as soon as a See Something, Say Something campaign got started. That was also in the summer of 2023. Coming to you live from Northgate tonight, Ryan Sims, Como News.